This is The Green TV Show. And this week we have a Geneva Motor Show special. Woo! That way? Okay, so we thought we'd do a countdown of some of the best and the worst from the show so far. So tell me about the show, Dawn. Okay, well, it started in 1905. It's one of the biggest in the year for the industry. And we've been looking at some of the figures. So out of 130 roughly exhibitors... Amazingly, only 15 of those are actually exhibiting zero emission vehicles. And an additional eight have hybrids, which is crazy. At number five, we've got DS Automobiles. Yes, like a golden panther pouncing on the plains of e EV, this is the incredible e tent Now this is a concept, all electric, high tech, grand tour. It's quite the beast of a car. It's got just over 400 brake horsepower, top speed of 155 miles per hour, a range of 220 miles, and interestingly, it uses a carbon monocoque chassis. And at number four, we have the beautiful handmade Morgan from the UK. The all electric three wheeler has a range of about 150 miles and goes from zero to 60 in just under nine seconds. Now it's made of a mix of carbon fiber, aluminium and beautiful ash wood and only weighs about 500 kilograms. It's going to go into production in the last part of this year and will cost just shy of 40,000 pounds. Yeah, and we just think it's fun, it's playful, it's cool, it's trying to do something different. Okay, over at number three, we've got the BBXS. Oh, and we love this little great. French EV. Now, it's polarised opinion a little bit at the show, but we think it's great. It's really, really practical, it's really, really fun, and it's not trying to be anything that it's not. No, it's, it's nice and refreshing, really, in the sea of sports cars at the events to see something like this. It's, it goes about 100 kilometres, it's got four seats, but just tons of personality. Yeah, it's great. And actually, it's remarkably affordable, too. So, it's got everything. Bon, bon. Good work, guys. Love of you. At number two, we have the H2 Sports race car concept from Pininfarina. This sleek Italian number is actually the world's first hydrogen high performance car. Yes, and it runs off a hydrogen fuel cell and only emits water vapor. Hitting speeds of 180 miles an hour, we're really hoping that this will be a trailblazer for other car manufacturers to move away from combustion engines and towards clean, green energy like hydrogen. Indeed. Thanks, Giuseppe. Ciao, Ciao guys. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao bello! <laughs> <laughs> and the winner is... <laughs> the Nissan IDS Concept. Oh my word! Yeah. Now we love this car and quite frankly we feel like we're living in the future. Yeah. Hence the hat. Hence the hat. So we chose this beautiful car for two reasons. One, that it is actually a really good practical EV and two, because it's got two modes. One is manual, Rob, and the other is pilot. This is actually quite interesting. The, the car simulates the driver's driving style. The seats turn in and the steering wheel folds away, giving you a more relaxing kind of living room type style place where you can chat with the other passengers. And Nissan have announced at the show that their Qashqai by 2017 will actually have the pilot feature inbuilt. Okay, Rob, now we have the bit of the clangor of the show, the guzzler, the one that drinks so much fuel that polar bears are dying, Rob. That's right, this is the Bugatti Chiron, and it's the world's fastest production car, and it's been lauded the king of the motor show. <laughs> However, it's also one of the worst cars at the show for the environment, and it could produce up to about 600 grams of carbon dioxide per kilometre. Okay, so there you have it. That's our highlights and lowlights of the show so far. Feel free to comment and let us know what your top cars are and the worst cars are at the show. Okay, and we couldn't let the show go without saying a big well done and thank you to Leonardo DiCaprio for your awesome speech at the Oscars. Yeah, it was a great speech. That's just the tip of the iceberg of the things I want to say to you, Leo. Okay, so that's another show come and gone. I hope you enjoyed yeah. it. And you can... Far. Wherever you are, Leonardo will be there looking out for you. So if you like the show, then you can click on this, uh -oh. the Oscar, Oscar, to subscribe. Yeah, and if you missed last week's show, you can click here on my face. I'm on my own face, Rob. This is what the internet is. Yeah. In so many ways. Wonders of the world. Yeah. Wibbly, wibbly world.